Uh, I wanted to become an ambassador for the RNLA because uh, a crew member uh, from the Red Bay lifeboat station in Cushendall saved my father's life um, three years ago uh, in uh, September 2015. Uh, my father suffered a heart attack, cardiac arrest in our house and a local member of the RNLA uh, arrived and very luckily for all of us uh, he defibrillated my father and resuscitated him. Uh, but one of the main reasons I got involved was because my uh, uncle Michael was skipper at the Bonham that sank um, off Bandar Harbour in Union Hall and um, they lost five of the crew members um, in that and the Dornal Eye and all kind of other agencies were very instrumental in um, recovering all the bodies and kind of getting closure for the, our family and obviously the, the family of the crew um, and to be honest just want to kind of give something back and help create awareness for the campaign. This relationship with the RNLI and the GA is a critical partnership and uh, I hope it's something that will continue for many years um, and it's, it's hugely important to deliver the message into these communities and back into the, the, younger, the younger people we have within our GA clubs so they can understand more about the RNLI and the importance of drowning prevention so it's, it's critical we get that message across and if I can do that and help in any way, shape or manner, I'd be delighted to help. It was a real eye-opener coming to the RNLI because uh, I had no real past experience uh, of them and um, just learning their messages and, and, and what they taught us out here, like, you know, from, you know, float, you know, fighting your instinct when you go into cold water and, and stuff like that, you know, it's, it's, it's a powerful message, like, and, um, you know, just water safety in general, like, you know, it, it's fierce important, you know. I suppose what I learned from the RNLI headquarters here in Poole is, um, you know the size, the magnitude of the organisation, and how much goodwill out there is out there for um, the RNLI. Um, I can't get over, you know, the, the infrastructure they have here in Pool. You know, from they're so uh, self-sustainable. You know, building their own boats and um, just how efficient they are at making them. And you know, um, I suppose getting getting value for money. It's a charitable organisation, but like they they just make the most of every little cent they get. Yeah, so the, the whole point of the float ca campaign is float to live. So if you do find yourself in the water unexpectedly, um, just instead of finding your instincts to try and get out, because cold water shock can take over very quickly and can affect your heart rate and your breathing and kind of cause you to kind of panic. And Whereas if you float, just relax, take about a min minute to 90 seconds just to adjust your breathing, kind of get used to the conditions and then try and get yourself out safely.